This is the big Georgian house that I live in. The Georgian house. King George. It's built at the same time as King George of England. Both nature landscapes. Oh God. That's somebody who's really amazingly talented or a songbird.
So like I said before, this is a big Georgian house. It belongs to the charity. It's a shared house, so there's four of us who live here, four lovely people who live here. I'm one of them. Um, so open door charity for the vulnerable and homeless. And Vanessa Renshaw is a director of the, of the charity. Vanessa Renshaw. She's the chief executive officer of this place. So open door project Stoke on Trent. Spode Factory, Stoke, Stoke on Trent. So this is where I live. The artwork of Jeffrey Clamp. Jeffrey Clamp is a well known artist, famous artist, if you like, in Staffordshire, Stoke on Trent. Uh, Jeffrey Clamp, K Al A M P, Jeff, Jeff Clamp, Jeffrey Clamp. He's got a degree in art, he's got a Bachelor's of Arts degree in Fine Art. From Staffordshire University or Staffordshire Polytechnic, and then now, now it's Staffordshire, Staffordshire University in Stoke on Trent. He's a nice man, Geoffrey Clamp. He can do architectural drawings as well. He's learned everything there is to know about art. So sometimes he works on a huge scale. And he's a really nice man. And he knows a lot about art, and he knows a lot about Vincent van Gogh and different artists. Monet and Jackson Pollock and he knows all about those artists Claude Monet and Jackson Pollock and Renoir and Pissarro and so Camille Pissarro he was a great great man great lad just Jeffrey Clamp, Clamp. It's another one of my friend's artwork, um, Paul Warlow. This is what Paul has drawn, drawn and painted. And he's amazing. He's, I mean, you can see for yourself. This is Paul Warlow's artwork. And Paul Warlow goes used to go to the American Clubhouse. He, he ran art groups there. And he's a brilliant musician as well as a brilliant artist. And he's brilliant at poetry as well. So this is Paul Warlow's artwork. <clears throat> as you can see there. My poetry, but Paul Warlow's artwork. Words, Tony Amore. Artwork. Artwork. Paul Warlow. So artwork. Words Tony Amore, T Amore, a fancy script and uh, artwork. Paul Warlow, so he's done all this, all the borders and all of this. So, <clears throat> so this is my poetry when I used to write poetry. I don't write poetry anymore, but I used to write a lot of poetry at one time. So. But this guy, Paul Warlow, he's been really poorly with mental health issues. Uh, recently, so they come back to haunt him after 20 years. I think he was fine for about 20 years, and unfortunately, he's, he's come ill again. 
So that's just how it goes. So this is my artwork and this is my poetry, I mean. And that's Stanley Myers. Stanley Myers music. John Williams plays it on guitar as well, classical guitar. Cavatina. Cavatina. It's called the music that's playing now. So anyway, that's that. Um this is Paul Warrell himself. It's an album that he's done, like I said, he's a great artist and a great musician. Uh, he's a brilliant musician. You can see him on YouTube. Uh, type in Paul Warlow. Spanish Sunset. It's one of his tracks. That's the Kulak dude himself. That's, that's Paul himself. And he was well. And his guitar. That's his album. Cool that dude. Same he is. Cool that dude. So that's his album. Mostly jazz, as you can see. He does the. Uh, can do play Spanish music as well. Play classical music as well. Very talented guy. So that's Paul Warrell. <coughs> um, this is my artwork. <coughs> so this is a Venice scene that I've done. So I've copied it from an Antonio Canaletto. <coughs> so this is some of my artwork that I've done. And I love doing my art as much as I like uh, doing uh, playing the piano. So I copied this from a Dante Rossetti, Pre Raphaelite, 1877. Dante Rossetti, English British artist with a Italian name. So it's a legend of legend of Proserpine so there she is eating an apple I don't know if it's an apple or what it is she's eating I don't really know much about the, the legend Proserpine obviously a Greek ancient Greek or ancient Roman uh, legend I would imagine <clears throat> this is my artwork anyway. <clears throat> so I copy this from Caravaggio. Caravaggio. Oh, Caravaggio's work. 
as I've said a million times before. <laughs> so I'll copy this Caravaggio. It's called um, it's called Caravaggio's music the musicians. Apt, aptly named the musicians as I love music as much as I love art I think it's also called the concert as well I think that's the, the, the proper title is there the real title is the concert I think Oh, I just called it the musician. This is another Caravaggio I did. Repentant Magdalene. So I like um uh, I like this one, this Repentant Mag, I like the Repentant Mag, I like this picture I've done obviously. It's Mike Magdalene out of the Bible. It's another one that I copied. Another Caravaggio. <coughs> There's another Caravaggio I've done. Boy bitten by a lizard. <sighs> These films are for posterity or the future. That I've done making of me. So this is Caravaggio I copied. So Michelangelo that I've done. Michelangelo Crucifixion. Michelangelo Buonarroti. Another Caravaggio I was working on, I'm working on. Bacchus. Another Caravaggio, this is another Caravaggio. the one I'm working on now. Same thing, Caravaggio. <coughs> this is a bigger version. On A1 paper. So it's <coughs> four sizes up from A4 paper. This is A1 paper I draw on. It's quite big paper. It's very big paper. You know. <coughs> so... I like to work on the scale, so this is another Caravaggio that I've done. I'm working, I should say. So this is another one that I've been working on. 
So I enjoy, I enjoy doing my artwork. Uh, I enjoy playing the piano. So like I said before, I've got 10 hour piano lessons <coughs> this week. Um, off my piano teacher Steve Harper. My prophecy Tatiana, Keele University as well. Sometime this month or next month, February. And I've got 10 hours off Steve Harper, piano lessons, playing these concert piano pieces that I'm playing. And um, that was a long time. It's two hours every day sitting with my piano teacher going over these uh, concert classical composers, concert uh, pianist uh, piano pieces written by uh, class, uh, composers of the 1800, 1800s. That's another. <clears throat> Caravaggio I've done, as you can see, Cupid, Victoria's Cupid. This is another drawing that I've done. My Lady of the Cross, Spain. By Esteban, Esteban Morillo, Spanish artist, 1652. So when I had my artwork put in the House of the Parliament, in London. So my artwork went into the House of Commons, Houses of Parliament. Good to see if Karen Bradley MP. Dear Mr. Downey, Anthony, Jose, Amore, Diego Downey. Anthony, Jose, Amore, Diego Downey, or Tony Amore. Drawings for Westminster Office, Karen Bradley. So, this is what she's put in a Westminster Office. And who knows, they may be very valuable one day when you become famous, especially in light of the fact that you have personally signed some of them. So yes, that's what Karen Bradley said in a letter. Thank you once again for thinking enough about us. So that's it. We'd like to, we would all like to thank you very much for the very professional drawings you have done for us. And it says, for my Westminster office, you certainly do have an extensive talent for drawing. We are delighted, we are delighted with them and who knows, they may be very valuable one day when you become famous, especially, 
especially <laughs> especially in the light of the fact that you're personally signed some of them so anyway my we'll artwork went into the Houses of Parliament in Karen Bradley's office so so that's my my artwork any anyway. that's some my artwork anyway that I've drawn that I've done <coughs> not kind of bad job drawn Another Caravaggio drawn. Bacchus, another Bacchus. Another one I've drawn, Raphael, 1512. So I'll copy this from a Raphael Sanzio, painter of Urbino. Raphael painted it in 1512. It's the Galatea from the Galatea fresco. another Raphael that I did. Transfiguration of Christ. That's another Raphael I did. Saint Cecilia. Uh, Saint Cecilia. Patron saint of music. That's another Raphael I copied. Rafael Santi, Rafael Sanzio.
So that's it. Thank you for looking at my artwork. Thank you for looking at my artwork. So this is where I live, like I said before. Um, Stoke on Trent, Staffordshire. Um, um, play my piano, I do my artwork. Um, so um, it's just something I like to do. Torval and Dean, the movie. This is the real Torval and Dean. Legends of Ice Skating Dance. Eternal. The Eternal. The Eternal Torval and Dean. New York City. So. People getting drunk. This man and this woman getting drunk. <laughs> As you do. Live and live and Aries. Live and Aries. Christmas boost taste test. Wow. I mean, I like Frederick Chopin. I like playing with Frederick Chopin and on the piano and with Franz Liszt on the piano. But this looks like a lot more fun. <laughs> so there you go. There you go. I'm not a big drinker anyway. So I think seven pints of beer in the morning, seven lagers in the morning, from six o'clock till nine. That's enough for me. It's o'clock in the morning till nine, you know. I can't understand these people drinking it in excess. Myself. But each to their own. You wouldn't catch me doing it. That is a fact. I do all my drinking in my house. No, I don't. <laughs> no, no, no. So, <laughs> so that's it, I think, for um, this time. Um, this time. So, I need to get on with some music now, as you do. So we should do. Boy Zone, the farewell tour.
one of my favourite bands was um, the East 17 Westlife, East 17 Westlife and Boys Zone. Very cool. Very, very cool. So. Another cool dude. A cool guy. I've heard this guy sing. I've heard Dalton Harris sing on television. Really blew me away. He's a really talented guy. I don't know, I, was he the winner? I think he was the winner, wasn't he? If he was, he definitely deserved to win X Factor. I don't know. I don't always pay much attention to these things. <laughs> but yes. <clears throat> um, brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. Um, Tanar has done very well for himself. He deserves his success. Because he's obviously worked very, very hard. And um, I don't know. So I think that's it for that. Famous actor, Ryan Gosling. And like I said, there's a lot of people who compare me with uh, Ryan Gosling, the American actor, you know, they say how similar we look, how, how much the same we look. So, I mean, obviously I don't want it to go to my head, but obviously I don't disagree with them. Because I'm not. Well, she's nice looking. Something wrong with her finger, I think. Sounds like Claire, she's got something wrong with her finger. And yeah, I think she is. So she's got a poorly finger. So, there you go. Well, that's it. Cheryl Tweedy. And that's it for that. Uh, <coughs> Now it's back to my music, musica, my angel of music, there she is, the angel playing the violin, one of my latest acquisitions. <laughs> Uh, 
Vincent van Gogh, the great artist. The Dutch artist from Holland, Vincent van Gogh, Vincent van Gogh. This is the artwork of Vincent van Gogh, done in A Bible scene by Vincent van Gogh. His father was a preacher. Vincent van Gogh's father was a preacher. He swapped letters with his brother Theo, Theo van Gogh, Theodore van Gogh. This is a biblical picture. A man went forth to sow some seeds, as Jesus Christ said. And the new gospel in the gospel. This is Van Gogh's interpretation of that. The sower. Done in 18 uh, 1861, I think. 1881. In 1881. That's the sower by Vincent Van Gogh. As far as I know, I think he's the only artist who ever signed his name, signed his artwork with his first name. He just put Vincent on, so which is marvelous. So this is the work of Vincent Van Gogh. So. All of Vincent's work. So here's another one that I did. Marguerite Gachet at the piano, 1890. He stayed with the Gachets. Dr. Gachet was Vincent Van Gogh's uh, psychiatrist, psychiatrist in France, Paris, France. I think it was in Auvers. Uh, Auvers sous soir or sous is it? Something like that. Auvers sous soir I think. Um, I don't know, or Uver Hussein. Um, excuse my French accent; it's not very good. <laughs> so, obviously, Doctor Doctor Gachet's uh, daughter played the piano, and uh, Marguerite Gachet and Vincent in 1890, perhaps a few months before he he died, he captured Marguerite. At the piano and there she is I have no idea what she was playing I don't think anybody will ever know unless he, Vincent wrote about it so one of the greatest artists that ever lived Vincent van Gogh another painting by Vincent van Gogh um, 1888 And I think, I think that's it anyway for that. Um, this is one of his drawings that Vincent did. He drew constantly, he was always drawing. A very passionate man, a very clever man.
Vincent van Gogh, he spoke German, fluent German, fluent French, obviously Dutch, and he spoke English. He was very clever, very clever man. He studied mathematics. He actually had piano lessons. He actually had pian organ lessons or piano lessons, but he gave that up. This is a still from the movie Lost for Life, the Vincent van Gogh movie in 1956 that Kurt Douglas starred in. And Anthony Quinn the great Kurt Douglas, the, the amazing Anthony Quinn, brilliant actors. So, this is a still from the film, Lust for Life, Lust for Life, about the life of Vincent van Gogh. It's an amazing film, Lost for Life. Lost for Life was originally a book, a book, a book, and um, so, and then they turned it into a movie. This is Franz Liszt, genius composer. Um, brilliant. Virtuoso uh, concert pianist, virtuoso virtuoso piano player, Franz Liszt. Born in 1811, died in 1886. A famous genius composer, brilliant piano player, a womanizer. And later on in his life, he became a priest. Franz Liszt. <clears throat> so, now back to my music now. <clears throat> this is a uh, Franz Liszt Spanish Rhapsody. Uh, Rhapsody Espanol, Spanish Rhapsody. So, <coughs> so I'm doing the last page of the Spanish Rhapsody, <coughs> but I've been doing right hand and left hand of the Spanish Rhapsody by by Franz Liszt. This is the last page, page uh, 26. So this is the last page, finale, page 26 of the, of the Rhapsody Espanol. So this is the last page, the finale, if you like. So I'll be playing the last two and a half lines, right hand and left hand. <coughs> um, just to get, um, just to get the, um, just to get the feel of it and putting right and left hand together. <coughs> and the good thing about doing left hand and right hand technique First, you're right, playing the right hand, uh, and then doing the left hand. Uh, doing the right hand treble and the left hand bass is uh, it's a good way to uh, understanding the the notes, and where everything is, understanding the keyboard. So, <coughs> so that's a getting to know the keyboard of better. So that's like F sharp. So I am here. That's like C sharp and F sharp tips there. 
So right hand treble first. It's the first chord. <coughs> so two and a half lines down. Uh, so two and a half lines I'm doing. Uh, and it's the last page. 20, page 26 of the Rhapsody Espanol by Franz Liszt. Ferenc Liszt, but they changed it to they Germanized it and turned it to Franz Liszt because he spoke German. So G sharp, that's G. <coughs> Two E's, C sharp. Then it's <coughs> F sharp with C sharp. Um, <coughs> and then uh, G, G, D, and E. Mm, is that right? GD, uh, GD and F sharp, sorry. Mm. So, yes, that's right. And then it's to B. It's to B with G in the middle. It's just the right hand. <coughs> then it's down to F, F sharp again. F sharp and D. And it's important to keep practicing the, the pieces that you really want to learn um, <coughs> and to keep going back and practicing and keep practicing them because that's the, the, the pieces you want to learn and uh, they're, your, they're your repertoire, that's your music repertoire of music. <coughs> um, so it's good to, to do that. So, so <coughs> Also going, going back to the right, going back again, uh, going back to what I said before. Not too worried about the speed here. Um, I'm more interested in getting, getting it correct, getting it right. So this goes not too high because the eight signs there. And then so we've got this going on here. We've got. sharp is it no we have a natural F and a G sharp next and then <coughs> ah no I should have come down should have come down a bit so that should go <coughs> so again so I've got an octave I on F sharp so it's F sharp A <coughs> up two D's and then using that as an anchor, the, D, the last D you played, uh, an anchor note to get to, so it's easy to get to the next one. And that's it. So using that as a, <coughs> as a like an anchor, if, if you like, um, to get to your next note. So your thumb is still there. Using that, you want to drop back down on that D where your thumb is. And then back on there, and you get the octave a lot easier. And then it comes down again. So you got the that you got that again. So you got that again. Oops, <laughs> sound right. This. That's it. <coughs> and then yes, you've got the same octave. You've got the same again. Uh, where else? Check. And ah. Um, no, 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 oh yes, <laughs> so the same octave again, yes, and then <coughs> you've got a bit of a run here if you like, so be on the B flat, D, F, F sharp, and down to A, got a bit of a run there, 
This is on the A. And you go back up to your I octave again. <coughs> Nice and nice anchor again. Nice and nice and anchor again. Yeah. Done. And then back again. <coughs> and then up here again. Then D. F sharps, down to D again, <coughs> down to A, then back up to A again, Down to A, goes down to A, E, G sharp, and A. Then it goes back up to D, uh, back up to D, F sharp, and A. I'm using a, and this is the bit last of the, this is the end, the end of the finale, if you like. <coughs> and then it ends. Ends like that. That's where it end, ends. Actually, that should have ended there. So, I've played too many notes there. And I'll still like it. <coughs> I'll play it in the wrong position. So, do it from here, from this A. So, <coughs> from this, this A. So, no, it's from that A. Correct. So, <coughs> sorry. <coughs> so, And then down to and down to A sharp. I should see and A again. Sorry. And then oh no, yes that's right. Yes that's right. So I'll try that again. I'm playing now. So, that's it. And that's it. And that's it. I'm back up to that again. So then, and down again. That's the right hand of the um, Spanish Rhapsody. And I think we'll leave it at that now. So thank you very much, Antonio Mori.